Namaste everyone. Welcome to Yoga for Life. Myself Rahul and today we are going to perform downward dog pose, Adho Mukha Svanasana and upward dog pose, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. The name of both the asanas comes from Sanskrit word Adho means down, Mukh means face, Swan means dog and Asana means posture. Hence the English name of downward dog pose. Similarly, Urdhva means upward and it leads to the popular English name upward dog pose. Upward dog pose when done after downward dog pose act as counter pose and it's a effective back bending asana and gives good flexibility in spine. If we do both the asanas in sequence then it gives strength, power and fresh energies to the entire body. Now let me show you that how to do the combination of downward dog pose and upward dog pose for that first we arrive into the table top pose and then make a gap between the legs it should be hip width apart and then tuck your toes in inhale and raise your hips up like this way you can see my posture the gap between the hand should be shoulder width apart if you feel uncomfortable then you can bend your knees also otherwise keep it straight try to touch your heel with the floor if it's not possible then keep it up and then hold your posture kindly ensure that your spine your shoulder and your arms should be in a straight line Try to shape your body like an inverted B. Now you can see my posture. It is a complete downward dog pose. Now hold your position with a normal inhalation and exhalation as much as you can. And feel the stretch in your legs, your abdomen, spine, shoulder and hand. And then exhale and bring your waist down. Raise to your knees while keeping your toes straight. And then inhale. Raise your upper body while keeping your head straight. And then if possible, then raise your knees like this way. Now hold your posture with a normal inhalation and exhalation and feel the stretch in your spine and then exhale and bring your upper body down and lie down on your stomach and relax You can do this asana 3 to 5 rounds in the starting of your yoga class that your body is properly charged up for the entire class. As we have discussed that it energizes the entire body and strengthens the arm, wrist, chest, lungs, abdomen and spine. It also helps to relieve stress, mild depression, fatigue and sciatica. It strengthens the hand legs and buttocks it stretches the hamstring calves and arcs it helps to prevent the osteoporosis and also help to relieve the symptom of menopause this pose is not advisable for those who are suffering from any back or hand injury those who are suffering from high or low bp heart problem sleep disc and carpal tunnel syndrome that's all for today. Thank you for watching our video. Please do like this video and subscribe our channel. Namaste.